Last night I cooked a few too many vegetables. I've got a couple of roast carrots, some mashed potato and the dreaded hated by all Brussels sprouts which I happen to love so I'm a weirdo. And yesterday lunchtime I fried up a few sausages for a sausage sandwich for lunch. So what do we do with the leftovers? Good question. Now with so much mashed potato and some greens there, the ideal thing to do would be a bubble and squeak. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a potato cake, mix that in with the Brussels sprouts. I'm going to mash the carrot up and also bring that into the, uh, the potato cake. And maybe slice the sausage just, so to, uh, just to add to the texture of the potato. And then I'll serve that with a fried egg on the top. It'd be tasty. Now the point to remember is all of these items are actually cooked. So what we're trying to do, we're actually trying to add a little bit of flavour and also um, basically warm them through, lightly fry them, make them crispy on the outside and fluffy, flavoursome on the inside. So I'm going to start cooking now. So what I've got here, I've got a bit of kale here. Kale is basically um, a curdy vegetable, it grows a bit like a cabbage. Now what I'm doing here, kale has some hard stalks in its leaves, so I'm just picking these out and then all I'm going to do is finally chop these up and what we're looking for when we're looking for mashed potato, uh, when we're looking for bubble and squeak is about half and half vegetables to potato. You don't want um, too much potato because it just um, it sort of falls apart because it's just mashed potato. You need something to bind it. So I've poured out a spring onion here, the top and tail. Nicely chopped up. This will add a little bit to the potato so the potato is not all bland. Now what I'm going to do next is just um, roughly chop my cow. Looking for any stalks and pulling them aside. Now I've got a carrot, I've got a roast carrot, a couple of roast carrots. So let's give them the old um, choppy treat. If you haven't had roast carrots, you've never lived. So that's the carrot sliced up. Now, this is the thing I like. Roast, uh, steamed Brussels sprouts. Everybody hates these. I don't know why. So I'm just going to roughly slice these into chunks. Now bubble and squeak is normally made using potatoes and leftover boiled cabbage. Now in the old days my, my mother used to boil everything to an inch of its life to make sure it's dead, <laughs> probably. So these have still got some texture in it, which I like. You better crunch the Brussels sprout. Now I like mine unadorned, which mostly means steamed. If you don't like Brussels sprouts, try smothering them in uh, cheese, uh, cheese sauce. Put them alongside some broccoli or some or some uh, cauliflower. Put some cheese sauce on top. That probably hides the open flavour for you. Enough. So what I'm doing now, I've got one sausage. I'm going to lightly chop this up. Just half it, quarter it, and then. Add a bit of texture to the potato. And 
And then what I'm going to do now, I've got some parsley. Just pull the, the ends away from the stalks. Put your stalk in with your stock if you're going to make some stock soon. It all adds to flavour. I don't want the stalks in there at the moment. So what I'm doing this is roughly chopping up the parsley. Give it a bit of herby flavour. Obviously green is going to be flipped through it. It's going to be lovely. <clears throat> now you cooking aficionados are all going to come out and go oh all of my meat and all of my vegetables are on one board. That's pretty unhygienic. Well it isn't really because all of my food is actually cooked. So as a result, well apart from the cow and the onion. So I'm not going to have any cross contamination between cold meat, raw meat with blood in it, that sort of thing, and any of my vegetables. So now all I'm going to do is my pan, well my mixing bowl which is basically a saucepan that I used to mash the potato up last night. I'm not going to make any more washing up by bringing out lots of bowls. In my bowl I'm going to add my chopped vegetables. All right, so what we got here, parsley. Then for a bit of texture uh, you can add your sausage. Then what we're going to do, bring in our greens. Okay. Then basically we're going to add in our Brussels sprouts and our chopped chopped carrots. Then all we need to do is just mix it around. Get a fork. Mash it up. Now all the bubble and squeak is is your mixed vegetables made into a, a patty or a cake. Mix it well. So keep mixing. You want the potatoes to combine with the vegetables. So now's the time to add a bit of seasoning. So pull out a little bit, give it a taste. What does it need? Now, when you've cooked anything in the past, you have layered your, your food up. You add some food, you cook it, taste it, add some salt and pepper. So what we've done in the past, we've seasoned our vegetable. But um, now we've mixed everything together again, we've sort of diluted the salt which adds the enhances the flavour and the pepper which adds the spice. So what we're going to do, we're going to add a few more um, twists of salt and pepper in here and then we're ready to make little pâtés up. This is the pepper. <clears throat> Give it a stir again. Now when it comes to cook this, as I mentioned, you can actually stick the whole lot in a heated frying pan, press it down with a spatula or a fork, and all we're trying to do is add colour to the mashed potato. So what you could do, put all of that in there like that, squish it down as you do, get a nice flat layer, and the layer will actually uh, caramelise on the bottom and turn golden in the oil and the pan. The alternative is to actually quarter it up, divide it into four pâtés and fry them individually. And that's what I'm going to do. 
So time you get the hands in. <clears throat> Just get your hands in. You can lightly flour them if you want to, or slightly oil them. Little pate there. Just now, that will look lovely in the frying pan. That will golden, uh, come nice and golden. Bits of the vegetable flecked in there. There's some carrots and some uh, kale in there. Let's make another one. The spawn of the devil fell out of that last one. That's the Brussels sprouts. So we'll make sure we combine them in here this time. Keep squishing. If the vegetables keep falling out, just bend them over, stick them in the middle, put some mashed potato around the outside. Bit like that, there you go. Another pate there. So here we have our lovely pates. You can see the flecks of vegetable in them. Now anything sticking out is going to be the first thing to be cooking and that's going to crisp up, crisp up very nicely. That's what we want. A bit of colour on the outside. We don't need to lightly flour these or egg them. We're just going to stick them in the frying pan in the oil that's heating up and cook them from scratch. Now I've got some oil in my pan it's been heating up. So all I'm going to do is put my potato cakes, my bubbling sweet in there. Give them a press down. And let them fry like this. Let's give that a little lift now, see what the colour's like underneath. Well, that's the sort of colour we want on our bubble and sweet. Press that down into the heat. Start getting some colour on the uh, on the bottom. Now what I'm going to do at the same time, I'm going to crack an egg in here and have this with fried egg. As soon as the egg hits the hot oil, starts to fluff up and starts to cook. The pepper on the egg. A little bit of salt. Make sure you turn it around. You don't want any albumin, which is the egg white. Just uncooked. Here is our bubble and squeak served up. Little potato cakes um, infused with um, kale, chopped carrots, Brussels sprouts even. Um, we've added some herbs to that, a bit of salt and pepper. We've fried that off in little pâtés and served this on with a fried egg on the top with some nice bread. And that's a nice hearty breakfast using your leftover uh, vegetables anything you've uh, cooked too much of the night before, easily make one of these. They're very tasty. 
Give it a go.